Hey guys, what up? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how I blend my drawings, what I use to blend my drawings, and the technique that I use to blend my drawings. So let's get into the video, y'all. I hope that you like it. Yeah, yo, let's go. First, you freaking slice it in half. So guys, as you have seen, I'm using an A4 printing paper. It's just an, a, a normal A4 printing paper. Don't use a tracing paper or watercolor paint paper. Just use a normal printing paper and use the thinnest stick that you have to roll to help you roll the half of the page. You can use a bigger page so that you can get a larger size of a stamp. And please make sure that your hands are moisturized. That's why I was I chose to use a sanitizer and use a blue stick as I'm, as I'm doing right now to stick your paper together so that it doesn't unroll because if you're gonna use tape it's gonna run out of glue and it's gonna detach from the from the paper. And if you when you see me cutting a paper like this, just know that I'm doing it because I'm finding the part where the paper doesn't no longer have a hole like you saw before I did this cut I'm doing right now. You see that hole? I don't want that hole no more because if you're gonna have that hole, your stamp, your stamp doesn't go, it ain't gonna blend your pencil very good. I don't know why I can't speak today, but I, I'm gonna try my best. So, I would suggest that they don't cut the paper no more but shave it you see how i'm shaving the paper shave it and you're gonna use a sandpaper to send it down so that it can grasp or grab the the pencil shading you see how i'm shaving i'm shaving the the stamp you should shave it like this so that you can grasp on the pencil lead pencil shading you see those finer hairs from the paper, they are the ones that you use. And what I would suggest is that don't throw it away. You see how that paper just flew off, I blew it away and my sandpaper just went clean. And right now I'm just getting down into shapes, which I'm gonna use to illustrate my shading technique. So I want to welcome you into shading technique. So let's just wait for me to finish doing them shapes so I could explain what's going on, how I do my technique. Okay, so what I'd suggest is that start with the darkest part when it comes to shapes like this or any shape even if it's a human face and you see how the how the stamp tip got the pencil lead i'm gonna use it to smear it all over the shape where i want the shadow to be so the darkest part is where there's a lot of there's a lot of shadow where there's a lot of shadow and the, shine, the sun is not shining at all and what i'll suggest is that you see how I'm using the back part of my eraser to hold my stamp is because my stamp feels lighter. So it feels lighter, it feels shorter. So I I enhanced its weight and enhanced its length with the side with the eraser handle because it has a hole in the back. So I used it to put in the stamp so it can balance from the eraser handle or eraser plastic. So I suggest that you use a, a Q-tip like that or some people call it an earbud, find the earbud but what I hate about it is that when you use it, it's gonna smear the part that you don't want the pencil line to be on. So what I suggest is that create your own stamp that's gonna like work perfectly for you. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that it was helpful and I hope that you're gonna have some time and some fun making your art using my techniques. Right now you can I'm showing you how you can use the technique on the nose. Those are the things that I use. So I 
hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you can subscribe. I am a champion, look at me running the game, flip. I take the pen and the peep, I set a chair record. I don't need the haters, my knees need a kneecap. Been running with the lame racers, check. I'm so tired, if it was possible, all you niggas would be.